Hello everybody, welcome to the Full Stack Ninja channel where we talk about everything technology from making web apps to making data products, data science, data visualization. We're going to be talking about Plotly Express, which is a very high level way of making Plotly visualizations. First thing you want to do you want to install, of course, it's always good to have a virtual environment. So for me, I installed Plotly and then Plotly Express. Okay. And I have a requirement, so TXT that has the version numbers. So you can do this with a pip install Plotly your pip ins and pip install Plotly Express. Okay. But if you're using PyCharm like me, you don't need to do that. And you can install it. Okay. Moving on. Now that we've installed Plotly and Plotly Express, we're going to focus on how you can create, how you can create a scatter plot. So for that, we're going to import the library. Okay, import Plotly Express at, well, conventionally we say PX, but you can pretty much call it anything you want. So let's call scatter plot. Let's give it a variable name. We're gonna do px dot scatter. Okay, and see there are different things coming up. So scatter. And yeah, you see this is really good. Um you can see the doc string to the attributes that can be specified. You can specify the data frame, you can specify your x, your y, specify the color, the symbol. Lots of good stuff like that. So let's just specify X and Y. Let's make something very simple. Let's say our X is going to be equals to, I will specify a list, Python list. Let's say one, two, three. We can specify our Y. Four, five, six. Next thing you want to do is call the show, the show function, so you can show your charts. And from here, I'm running just just my basic code. I just run it, and I should see the result. Okay, let me bring this up where everyone can see it. It popped up on my other screen. And there you have it. This is how you make a basic scatter plot using Plotly Express. Actually, very straightforward. See, so if we decide to inspect, let me bring up the API. It's a good way to learn whenever you're learning a new library. Um, it's very good to look at the API documentation. Now we can play around with some of the things here. So you can see you specify the X, your Y, you can specify the color, specify several things. You can specify the text you want. So usually for me, documentation is a good place. I usually get things started. Okay, let's continue what we're doing here. Now for this, um, let's give it a title. Yeah, just something, something extra. Okay, let's give it a title title let's say basic plot okay because that's what it is it's a basic plot okay you can see that basic plot what i really love about plotly is the fact that once you go over it the points you know you have your default hover right you can hover over the points and it should be fine Okay, so this is how you make a basic plot. What if your data is in a data frame? How do we do it? Okay, so let's just create a new Python file. Let's call it. For this, we're going to use. The Iris data set, so scatter plots. Let's see, 
iris. Okay, let's say import. We're gonna use plot the express as as px import pandas as pd. Okay, it's a good start. So let's import our data frame. Okay, so want to read the CSV file and all of this is going to be in the GitHub link, which I'll put in the description below. So this is where we have our file iris.csv. So say data slash iris.c. SV. Okay. Well, let's just let's do a quick print. Print. Let's see the head of it. Okay. Run this. Okay. So we can see this output means the importation was fine. So let's assume. We want to make a scatter plot of the sepal length versus the sepal width. Okay, for the different species. So let's see the relationship. How do those two features relate to each other? Very straightforward to do. We come here. We call it. Let's call it iris scatter plot. Very descriptive name. See scatter. Okay, now we want to specify the data frame. Okay, the data frame is DF in this case. We could have called it iris DF or whatever we wanted. We, what do we want on the x axis? We want x. Let's say sepal. Okay, that's x-axis. Yes, it has to be a string. And for our y, I want our y to be a string as well. Sepal width centimeters. That's what cm is. Okay, let's see. See how we improve this. Okay, there you have it. You see, um, but just looking at this, you know the the variation between the length and the width doesn't hold much information. It would be nice if we can color these points according to the species type, and that's also possible. Okay, so let's do that. Usually I work in a notebook environment, but I felt for this tutorial it would be just best to just work from a code editor directly. All right, so let's specify the color attributes. What do we want as a color? We want the species as the color. So we can specify that. Species. Let's see. Let's run it again. Okay, so you can see just right there, we can, you can see that based on the sepal length and width, you can see there's a distinction between these two different flower types. And this is really is the basics for classification, but we're not trying to discuss classification right now. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a title. So title, let's say, I like to be as descriptive as possible. Scatter plot of sepal length versus sepal width. Okay, let's run it. Yeah, that's it. Um, Very straightforward. Um, So yeah. 
there are lots of other things you can um, lots of other modifications you can use while making your plotly chart but for now i think we can just we've looked at this ones and um, it'll be good to just go to the next one thank you very much for your time see you in the next video